Hey guys, what's up? And I'm back with the ancient history ga part 2.1. 1.1 has dealt with sources, so please check out that particular video. And this is the channel Gaurav Minjal and Roman Saini's channel An Academy. An Academy. Do like, share, and subscribe. So this series is presented by me, and uh, this is me. If you want to read more about me, you can go to my Facebook page. That is facebook.com/romansaini.official. Still, any doubt which is left, any video you want me to make within 24 hours, I'll get back to you. That's a personal guarantee. So I am DD. Now you are, you guys have started calling me DD. That is doubt demolisher. Anyway, so we start with the prehistory era. That is, first is the Paleolithic. Paleo literally means old. So it is rounding from 35,000 to 9,000 BC. They were just hunter and gatherer and weather variations are quite high, ice age and all were there. There was no metal, there was no pottery. See, first there need to be agriculture, which will lead to grain and which will lead to pottery. So all these three were not available. There was no fire. They were totally dependent on nature. The site example is Bhimbetka. It is in Bhopal. It is near Bhopal and more than 500 cave paintings are there of Paleolithic era. Then we have Mesolithic from 9000 to 4000 BC. They were also hunter gatherer, but they started something called as domestication of animal. They were the first person to start fire. Fire is the most important thing. It's also called a microlithage. Micro means a small, lith means a stone. So they developed small pointed sharp stones, okay, tools, and also they developed bow and arrow. So they started fishing also. Example two sites Bagor is in Bhilwada, that is Rajasthan, and Damgad is in Hoshangabad, MP. They are the two Mesolithic sites. Then we have something called as Neolithic sites. It's lasted from 4000 to 2500 BC. First, the most important is agriculture. Since the agriculture developed, now we have something called as pottery because grains also developed. So they are less dependent on nature, village developed, community developed, and everything developed. They started to living in mud houses. So the various examples of Neolithic sites are first most important is Mehargad. Mehargad is in Balochistan, that is in Pakistan. They used to live in mud brick houses. They developed granaries. They also developed tools from local copper ore and they had bitumen. Bitumen is for lining, lining purposes, which road banthe, that is bitumen, it's a type of coal. Then they cultivated barley, iron corn and emmer wheat. They also developed jujubas, dates, that is dates is khajur and herded sheep, goats and cattle. They also started to develop crafts including flint napping, tanning, bead production, metal working and it is the earliest known center of agriculture in South Asia. So this is the most important point you should be remembering that it is the earliest known center of agriculture in South Asia. So we have various other Neolithic sites also. The first was Mehargad, other are uh, Koldi Hawa, it is near Allahabad. It has earliest evidence of rice. Similarly, there is Chopani Mando, it is also near Allahabad. It has the earliest evidence of pottery. Then we have Burzagom and Kufkaral, they are in Srinagar, Jammu and Kashmir. So Burzagom is famous for pit dwelling. So if this is the level ground, so you, they used to dwell here. Why? It is from warm and defense. So these are the two reasons. So domestic dogs were buried along with master. So it shows their belief in afterlife. So these are the important points. Similarly, Gufkaral it also had pit dwellings and they are evidence of wheat, barley and lentil. Then we move on to Chalco Lithic Age. Chalco literally means copper. Lithic means stone. So it is copper age. Uh, various civilizations are there in copper age like Jorve in Maharashtra. Have you heard of Maharashtra, Jorve? Then Malwa near MP, Ahar in Rajasthan and IVC. IVC is? We will know what is IVC. Then they are characterized by painted pottery, especially black on red wear. So it will be a black base and it will be followed by red painting so black on red wear then they had cultivation of seasonal crops uh, especially now earlier agriculture was there but there was no seasoning now they used to develop kharif and rabi they also developed bronze because it's copper age so copper plus tin is bronze still there is no iron please make sure you remember this there is no iron then they developed religious beliefs and they had fortified settlements the two sites are in Amgao, it is in near Pune. Fortification is present plus moat is also present. Moat is deep defensive ditch. So the, if this is your house, so surrounding it, it will be a moat, something like this. So no one can approach it. So this is called as moat. 
first seen in Inamgaon, Pune. Then we have Damabad, which is in Nasik, also in Maharashtra. So there is evidence of four bronze objects, namely elephant, tiger, rhino and chariot. Please remember these points, they are asked in examinations. Then IVC is Indus Valley Civilization or Harappan Civilization. Why it is called as Indus Valley Civilization? Because many sites are along the river Indus. Why it is called as Harappan Civilization? Because Harappa was the first site where it was discovered. It is uh, roughly from 2600 to 1900 BC. Why how it was discovered in 1856 when railway line were uh, putting between Lahore and Karachi. Uh, 1853 mein they were from Thane to Mumbai. That was the first railway in India. Similarly, from Lahore to Karachi in 1856, so Harappa ruins were excavated to meet the demand of bricks. Then eight to nine important sites are there. First is Harappa. It is near Ravi River in Pakistan. Uh, the three things which are found here are copper chariot, uh, various trade evidences, and this is important. H and R 37 cemetery. It is a type of burial of dead bodies. Then there is Mohanjodado that is literally meaning mound of dead because various uh, skulls were found here when excavation was done. It is also in Sindh, Pakistan. It is famous for three G's that is Great Bath, Great Granary and Girl. Girl is bronze dancing statue of a girl. Then Lothal is in Gujarat. It is famous for dockyard. So dockyard means there was going on trade between IVC and Mesopotamia and Egypt. Please make sure you remember these terms. Then there was evidence of rice. There was evidence of chess like game. And there was obviously I told you MCQ. See people confuse Mesopotamia with Iran. So I want you to remember this mnemonic MCQ. M stands for Mesopotamia. Q for Iraq. So now you will never confuse in your life. What is Mesopotamia? Which civilization is it? It belongs to Iraq. And also with Persia. Then there is a site called Chan Hududo. It is near Indus river. So there is lipstick evidence is present. So they were well versed in cosmetics. Then we have Kali Banga. Kali Banga is in Rajasthan at the bank of river Ghagar. See all the civilization they used to develop along the river bank only because water was crucial back then. Then it is showing wooden furrow and fire altars. Uh, so Kodada is a site. So fire altars means sacrifice was prevalent. So Kodada is in Gujarat. So it shows horse and chariot but they were inferior quality horse. Superior quality horse were present with Arabs and Aryans. Then Ropad is in Punjab and it is like Burza home. What is in Burza home? I already told you. Pit dwellings plus burial with masters of dogs. Then Rangpur is in Gujarat and rice husk. So these were the eight sites which are important. Then extremely important what are the characteristic of IVC. First is urban civilization. Urban does not mean Magdi and Dominoes. Urban literally means there was planning. So town planning is present plus increased density of human beings. Then internal and external trade was there especially with Mesopotamia, Egypt and Persia. Then there was religious practices. I will be talking about them in detail. Division of labor is also there and trade. How, how do we know that there was trade? See, uh, Mesopotamia seal will be found in Indus Valley Civilization. Similarly, Indus Valley Civilization seals that were jasper and sterite. These are the material out of which it was made. So Indus Valley Civilization seals will be found in Mesopotamia. So we know there was trade going on. So it was divided into an upper town. So this is an upper town. It is called a citadel. It means fortified wall to protect from flood and outsiders. And it was meant for priest and administrative officers only. A lower town was there and it was meant for merchants, craftsmen and artisans. So houses were made up of bricks. Bricks are were of three qualities. Mud bricks were the cheapest. Burnt bricks were the best quality and decorated bricks were found only from Kali Banga. And no plastering of wall was done in that time and there was excellent drainage system. This is the single most important point. Excellent drainage system. Till now we have problems with drainage in India. Back then also we had an excellent drainage system. Then there is great bath. It is made up of burnt good quality bricks and it is used only for ceremonial occasion. Yeh ke roj nane jao. <laughs> then we have great granary and it is for storage of grains. We knew all the metals back then even including silver but not iron. That's the important point. We did not knew iron in Indus Valley Civilization. Silver makes its earliest appearance in Indus Valley Civilization. Then there was ponytail present on bronze dancing girl which was found from Mohan Jodado. 
सो इट मीन्स दैट दे न्यू ऑल काइंड ऑफ कॉस्मेटिक्स एंड फेस पेंट्स एंड हेयर स्टाइल्स ऑर्नामेंट्स फॉर लाइक गोल्ड ब्रेसलेट्स फॉर अवेलेबल दैन म्यूजिक डांस वॉज पॉपुलर डाइस वॉज पाउंड इन हरप्पा सो प्रोबेबली दे वर गैम्बलिंग देन चेस लाइक गेम वॉज देयर चैरियट वॉज देयर सो दे वर प्रोबेबली रेसिंग ऑल्सो दैन वी हैव वीट एंड बार्ली एविडेंस सो सी कॉटन इज इम्पॉर्टेंट वाई बिकॉज कॉटन वॉज कॉल्ड सेंदॉन बाय ग्रीक्स बिकॉज इंडस पीपल वर द फर्स्ट वन टू कल्टिवेट इट द कॉटन आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट स्पेशली एट लोथल एंड सुरकोतडा एंड देर आर वेट्स ऑल्सो टू मेजर वेरियस थिंग्स एंड दे वर मेड अप ऑफ स्टोन्स एंड दे वर इन मल्टीपल ऑफ सिक्सटीन दैट इज सिक्सटीन थर्टी टू एक्सेप्ट्रा दैन रिलीजन इज एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट सी फीमेल एंड मेल गॉड्स बोथ आर देयर इन रिग वेद एंड इन लेटर वेद तो देर विल बी नो फीमेल गॉड एट ऑल इन लेटर वेदिक पीरियड सो दिस इज द बेस्ट पीरियड फॉर फीमेल्स मदर गॉडेस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इट इज शी इज अ गॉडेस ऑफ फर्टिलिटी देन पशुपति शिवा इज अ मिथिकल बीस्ट विद थ्री हॉन्ड हेड एंड ही इज सिटिंग इन पॉस्चर ऑफ योगी सराउंडेड बाय एनिमल्स लाइक राइनो टाइगर डियर बफेलो एलिफेंट एंड दे ऑल्सो वर्शिप पीपल ट्रीज दे ऑल्सो वर्शिप्ड पिजन एंड दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग स्वास्तिक सिंबल स्वास्तिक का सिंबल फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम वॉज फाउंड इन इंडस वैली सिविलाइजेशन इट वॉज अ सिंबल ऑफ गुड लक एंड दे वर ऑल्सो टेकन बाय नाजीज इन जर्मनी सो दैट अंडरस्टूड एवरी थिंग वॉज वर्शिप्ड बीस्ट मिथिकल बीस्ट मदर गॉडस नेचर एनिमल्स बर्ड्स एवरी थिंग वॉज वर्शिप्ड then for disposal of the dead they had complete burial that meaning uh, just like they bury the dead body then there was post cremation burial they burned the body and then uh, spread the ashes on the ground and there was fractional burial uh, practice till date in parsis uh, where animals and birds are allowed to eat as much and then they bury the left remains and the body was kept in a north south orientation see these words are extremely important and they will be asking you in mcqs as well as in mains examination the script was bostrophedon bostrophedon means first of all that will go from left to right then from right to left then from left to right then from right to left so these are the directions in which it is read see english and hindi they'll goes like this right urdu goes like this then chinese will go something like this so there are various scripts so this is a bostrophedon script and it goes on in a extremely spiral kind of a way then uh, finally we have the theories of decline why did it decline see first theory was rn invasion which was completely rejected absolutely rejected please do not come up with this theory the major factors were climate change uh, weakening of monsoon monsoon week was a drought a gaya or indus river changes direction so flood a gayi and there was emigration to better parts there was weakening of trade with egypt and mesopotamia so these five six reasons combined were the reason of decline of ivc and decline does not mean complete vanish it transformed and urban life of india never vanished it just transformed this is a key word so guys uh, since we are trying to create a revolution here i am providing everything which i can the best quality absolutely free so you have uh, you have to spread the word like wildfire because there is a time for a little revolution in education and i want it to happen right now so guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you like our channel if you like my work do subscribe to an academy any query you can ping me at my facebook page that is facebook.com slash my name roman saini dot official you can also tweet to me you can also tweet to me at my twitter handle that is at roman saini do like share and subscribe thank you for watching have an awesome day